how to play the B seventh chord. B seventh is an abbreviation for the full name, which is B dominant seventh. However, when you see a B7 referred to in tablature, guitar music and on chord charts, it's always just B with a 7 alongside it. Here's how to play a B7 chord. Firstly, press the first finger in the first fret of the D string. Then, place the second finger in the second fret of the A string. Next, place the third finger in the second fret of the G string. Finally, place the fourth finger in the second fret of the top E string. That's the thinnest string. Now, strum. When looking at the chord chart for the B seventh, you'll notice an X on the bottom E string. This means you don't play this string. So, when you strum the chord, you strum from the A string upwards, the top five strings. Now, let's see the B7 played with a guitar. Firstly, press the first finger in the first fret of the D string. Secondly, press the second finger in the second fret of the A string. Now, press the third finger in the second fret of the G string. Finally, press the fourth finger in the second fret of the top E string. Now, strum. The B seventh is a pretty difficult chord, so don't worry if it doesn't sound right straight away. Let's have a look at things that might affect the way it sounds. The first thing you always need to check is your tuning. So, if you haven't done already, take your fingers off the guitar and just check each string one by one. If your guitar sounds obviously out of tune, you need to pause the video here and tune it up. Otherwise, if you're not sure how your guitar should sound, you want to pause the video here and check the guitar with the tuner. Now we need to refinger the chord shape. So, place the first finger in the first fret of the D string, then place the second finger in the second fret of the A string, place the third finger in the second fret of the G string, and finally place the fourth finger in the second fret of the top E string. And now strum. If the chord still doesn't sound right, it's worth playing each note one by one. As you play through the notes, you'll be able to hear which strings are causing the problems. If the fingered strings aren't sounding right or are muted, the first thing you need to do is look at them carefully. Check they're properly between the frets and not overlapping onto the metalwork. You also need to check they're correctly on the strings and not falling between the strings. Also, just check you're pressing hard enough. Sometimes it might just take a little extra pressure to get a good clean note. If the open string is muted or the previous measures aren't correcting the issue, the chances are your fingers are overlapping onto other strings. If this is the case, you need to bring your fingers onto their tips and not allow them to lie down sideways. In order to do this, you may need to bring your thumb around the back of the neck towards the floor. This may feel a little uncomfortable, but I assure you it's quite necessary. And before too long, it'll feel quite natural and your chords will be a lot cleaner. The B7 chord is quite an awkward chord to finger so you might find it necessary to take your fingers off and reapply them before you get it right. And if you don't get it right straight away, don't worry, you will with practice. 